Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 3.8b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a pictograph here, and the most important part of any pictograph is always going to be right underneath it. It is the key, and remember that the key is the key. The key is key. If you don't know what the key is, you're not really sure what you're looking at. So we've got a little situation with Mrs. Adams. She is selling rings in a jewelry store, and they're going to use a ring itself, and it's gonna represent a number. So in this case, each ring represents six rings sold. And then we're supposed to do something with this. We're supposed to add up the total number sold in, in, in weeks four, five, and six. And notice there is no A, B, C, or D, or F, G, H, or J. This is not a multiple choice. This is a free response, which means our answer, when we have it, is gonna have to come over here in the form of one of those free response. So we'll have to kind of keep our eye on that. But let's see if we can figure out this pictograph here. So each ring is going to represent six. So really we're skip counting by sixes. So let's just go to put a number next to each of these. So let's start by sixes. And if we know our sixes and our multiplication facts, it's going to be very helpful. This is why knowing your multiples is very important. Six, 12, 18, 24. So I have got 30. 30 rings in week one. I'm going to write it out here on the side just to make it nice and clean. And the reason I know I've got 30 is because I've got five sets of six. So I've got five rings, one, two, three, four, five, and each ring is worth six. So five times six, that makes 30. So that's how we're going to be counting this. Now, week two, take a look at this. This already starts at 30. Five, one, two, three, four, five. I don't need to start counting from there, so I'm just going to count from 30 right there. It's another um, five sets of six. And I'm going to do 36 right here because I started at 30, went up to 36, but then I've got this half ring right here. And so this is something that you're going to see. You're going to see these little half symbols. So we need to think real quick. So if you have got between zero and six, so this is my full ring right here. So my full ring is going to be right here. Zero is no ring, and I need to get a half a ring. So that means I need like halfway in between zero and six. So this is where we think of our doubles facts. What plus what makes six? Well, we know that. That's three plus three. So then a half a ring is going to be three. So that's, that's what that's going to be. So 36, and this is going to be 36 plus that half ring of three. So that's going to make 30. Nine. So let's see if we can figure the rest of this out. 6, 12, 18, this is going to be 24 because I've got four sets of six. Whew, week four is a lot. I'm going to start right here at my 30. And I'm going to say 36, 42, and 48 because that is a lot, 48. And so let me see, on that 48, we have got eight groups of six. Week five is going to be, here's my 30, and then I've got that little half. So I've got a 30 plus that little half, so that's going to be 33. And then, let's see, week 26, I've got 6, 12, 18, 24. I've got 24 plus the little half, that's going to be 3, so that's going to be 27. So now I've put a number next to each of these. Now I just need to do some simple addition. I need the total number of four, five, and six. So we can just do 48, 33, 27. And that's just basic addition. So that's a 10, that's 18. And let's see, that's five, that's eight. And there we go, that's 10, 108. So when we're looking at our gridable response, it's going to look something like this. And we're going to write our answer up here at the top. And this is the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. So I've got 108. And you would just need to make sure you bubble in the correct one. So one, zero, and then an eight would be down here.